What up though? My name is Dubi Okoye and I'm a multidisciplinary creative from Detroit, Michigan. Today I'm gonna let you in on the live q and I did after my artist talk uh, with a bunch of different schools in Illinois coming together for what they call Visual Arts Day. I was a keynote speaker and I shared about my murals and how to make it as an artist. I wanted to show living proof that you can make it as an artist and that it's a viable and successful career if you get into it. My favorite part of doing artist talks is talking to students, teachers, and answering the questions in real time. Um, and this is the this is part of that. If anybody has questions, I'll be more than willing to answer. Um, hello. Um, Hi. I um I noticed you use um a lot of flowers in your drawings. Um, is is there a reason for that? Yeah, uh, I just it's not anything deep. I just really love uh, flowers and using flowers as much as possible. Uh, it was just an aesthetic choice. Uh, yeah, because it's really pretty. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you get scouted by like big brand companies or like notice for you? Mm -hmm. um, so there's various ways. Um, I have, I've been so uh, consistent and diligent about posting my work on social media and having my website. Um, people have like reached out directly. Um, in the case of Pepsi, they reached out directly to me. Netflix, they reached out to my agents. Um, who I have now, like it's only been a year of me having agents, but that's how they reach out to me. So it varies. Uh, some people, most people actually reach out directly to me um, via my website or social media, uh, but sometimes they reach out to my representatives. Nice, thank you. All right, we have another, we have another hand, come on up. Uh, yeah, hi. Um, I have, hi. Uh, have you ever considered uh, pitching your illustrations to Netflix or have your own series or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I'm always. That's one of the biggest things about, I want to say, being creative is pitching yourself. I feel like I do that more so than I do anything else. Is pitching myself or talking to big brands and big clients. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things that I'm trying to work on, or even getting a Skillshare class in the meantime before that happens. All right, thanks. These have been great. Other questions? All right, I see another hand. Come on up. We have another person coming up. All right, so what do you, what do you plan on doing in the future? Yeah, I plan on doing a lot of stuff, um, but specifically art related. I just started a YouTube channel to like talk about my process more. Um, and it's fun, it's something new that I'm doing, but also I plan on painting bigger murals uh, across the world, and I plan on trying to just do different creative things differently. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges for me right now is learning how to do this YouTube thing. But yeah, I plan on doing it more in the future and expanding my reach. What's, if I could ask a follow-up question, what has been challenging as far as the, U the YouTube channel? It, I mean, it's been challenging because one, I have like a baked in audience that's on all of my other social media. I have like a, like 4,000 followers or something on Instagram, um, a couple hundred on on Twitter. But on YouTube, there was like maybe three people following me. So it's like just starting over again and having that confidence of just spreading my message, even though that many people won't see it until I like build a bigger audience by being consistent. So that's the biggest, been the biggest challenge, but it's also giving me more freedom to do creative things uh, unlike I've done before, um, and creating videos and doing voiceovers and telling stories in a different way. Thank you. Other questions? Oh, I see another hand, come on up. Uh, what would be the best advice for like a young artist to like share their art, even though like they're scared? They don't know what other people would expect. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, I would just like remind you that everybody's scared to show their art. Uh, even me, like it's, there, there's things that I like I share that I don't know how people are gonna react to it. But at the same time, 
you gotta know who you are as an artist you know that you're confident in your abilities and if you're not get to the point like sketch enough and get to the point that you're confident in one specific thing and then share that thing um because you don't you have no idea who will see it for good um and for potential clients and stuff like you just gotta be confident in yourself and confident in your abilities and that just comes with practice honestly um but i feel like we're all every artist is scared for the most part these are awesome questions. Okay, I see another hand right here. Excuse me, what is the name of your YouTube channel? I want to subscribe to you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just my name, Andrew B. Sikoye. Uh, you can very, very easily on there. How do you spell that? It's I can get you to spell it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. NDU. ADU. NDU. 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 Yep. B-I-S-I. You should be able to find it. B-I-S-I. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Why inspire you to draw? Um, I, don't, I don't necessarily know. I feel like it's something that every kid does just innately. Like, they, like your parents or teachers give you like crayons and stuff to draw on. And I just never stopped. That was, I think that was the only difference. But I enjoy just creating stuff every day. Um, from as young as I can remember, I just never stopped. And people always encourage me to keep drawing and keep sketching. Um, and then I just developed a passion for it. Oh, okay. Good. You're welcome. All right. All right. So, all right. Uh, and then, let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Hello. Um, what kind of anime do you like, and what kind of do you draw? Uh, I, lo I love a variety of anime. I can say, like, I, I feel like I love all the animes everybody else loves, like Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I grew up on Sailor Moon, uh, Pokemon, obviously. But what I'm watching now more so is, like, Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, rewatching Naruto, Shippuden. Uh, and there's a, a ton of others. Um, and I, I, I practice drawing them. Um, uh, I just do some Demon Slayer, Slayer stuff on my social media not too long ago. Um, but I draw them all just to practice drawing and having fun with it. Awesome. Thank you very much. No Thank you. Um, Especially considering your mural to George Floyd, have you ever received any hate from people? And if so, how do you deal with that? Yeah, for sure. Um, no matter what the piece is, specifically that one, we've garnered a lot of crazy feedback as far as like people that just are against him and like what he stands for and all that stuff. Um, I just like brush it off. I don't let it get me too much because. I know those people aren't really analyzing or actually like caring about the art. It's just their position and what they're trying to like get across. Um, so I don't like let it deal with me too much. But even the even the murals and stuff that I create, after I'm done with that, I try to like detach myself from it, um, which it can be hard for some artists, but it's easier for me because I, I'm just used to like working on a ton of projects. And I know after I'm done with this one, there's another one coming up. 
Uh, so I try to detach myself from like the feedback of it. But usually it's all good for the most part. But it's, those are those, there are those few that kind of stick out and want to like hate or like troll and stuff like that. And that just comes with it. Again, uh, just one more question. Uh, so I'm kind of stuck. Like I don't know what else to draw. I mean, I'm also a digital artist, so I'm having a hard idea coming. I'm having a hard idea coming up with what to draw. So what would I do like, to get inspiration? Yeah, I mean, if you like, if you're like me at all, and you watch like anime and stuff, or read manga or anything like that, just start drawing pages, figure out, and you can struck how those artists came up with that stuff. Or find like classical artists as painters and stuff like that. Uh, draw, draw the music. There's a bunch of different ways to just come up with ideas. Um, but just new things. Maybe go outside and draw um, in nature. Like you can inspire you to do some still life paintings and stuff like that. So I mean, just try new things. That's that's the adventure and that's the cool part of the journey. New things all the time. All right. Thank you. Other questions. No all right. Uh, so if someone were to ask you for advice what would you say as far as advice for like, what kind of advice advice for um i don't know maybe it's like beginners i'd say like if there was someone just like just to start out Oh, Hold just on. starting out as an artist. Um, I would just say, oh, go ahead. Sorry, we just had froze for a second, but we're good now, I think. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, just starting out as an artist, I would just say, find a bunch of the things that you like and study why you like those things. Um, read a lot of books about artists and how to be an artist. One that I would really like, I didn't even read it. I just listened to an audio book where it was how to, uh, how to steal as an artist. Oh, I think it's the name of the book. It's like a trilogy. Um, steal like an artist. That's the name of it. Uh, listen to that, and it basically tells you how to uh, copy your favorite artist, but following what they were inspired by versus just copying the style. Um, that's one of the things I would start with. Like I told the guy before you, is just studying what artists were inspired by is important and why you're inspired by the things you're inspired by. And just do it a lot. Um, you, you may end up liking illustration or art or graphic design, or you might switch to a different discipline and that's okay. Um, but just start somewhere. That's the best advice I can give. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, I wanted to ask, um, were you ever inspired by any artists uh, from your day? Or... Yeah, I'm continually inspired by artists um, from my day. I wouldn't say my day because I'm not that old. Um, <laughs> I'm like 29. Um, but I'm inspired by artists all around me and artists across the country. Uh, some being Sydney G. James. Um, Tyler the Creator, as far as rap, Kanye, like everybody's inspired by him, like uh, Travis Gambino, um, manga artist, uh, Takashi Pong. Um, like, I'm endlessly inspired. I feel like I'm missing a million because yeah, you're asking me, like, I'm continuing. And I feel like that's the thing, that's just part of being creative. Always inspired. We'll go to the back over here, yeah, over there, and then we'll go over there. I don't, I don't. Uh, hi, um, do you, do you ever have, like, anything to do, like, when you struggle with art, like, lack of motivation, or, uh, when you mess up on something? Yeah, I feel like that happens every single project. Because uh, my vision about what I'm going to create and what I actually create can sometimes vary so much uh, that it can be frustrating. Um, but 
one, I would say as far as like being uninspired or unmotivated, just attend to the other things in life too, um, as far as like working out or exercising or going for walks and stuff. Um, make sure you get an adequate rest and eating well. Um, Cause those things affect your art and motivation and inspiration way more than we give it credit for. Uh, way more than I even give, gave it credit for a couple years ago. Um, so those things are probably the most important. But as far as finding you know, like a creative spark or trying to find motivation again, um, just study new artists, go to museums, read books. Um, if you if anime is your thing, watch anime, listen to podcasts. Like just find new things that, that will naturally just inspire you because you're just trying new things. Thank you. Um, I was wondering what goes through your mind when like creating art. Uh, I feel like a million things. Uh, uh, Early on, I used to see it before, like all the big clients and stuff, I used to see it as like meditative almost. Um, Cause I could spend hours getting lost in my sketchbook, just drawing. Um, now, so more so I kind of think of it as a task to accomplish because there's so many different projects coming at once. Um, but the things that I'm thinking of is like, what, how can I make this as dope as possible? How can I like do something different than the last illustration or mural or gift that I did? can I be one step better than that this time? Um, and what can I do to inspire people by what they're seeing? Um, those are the things that I think about the most while, while I'm actually creating the things that I'm creating. Um, yeah, now it's more so about inspiring you guys and the next generation behind you guys as well. Excellent. Can you tell a question? What's your favorite like art medium or tool that you use? Yeah, so on my website I have a whole, like I have an exhaustive list of all the tools that I use in general. Um, so people can have access to that stuff. My favorite stuff to use um, right now I would say is Procreate, doing digital illustrations um, and GIFs. GIFs are probably the most fun because they're so quick and I can just get an idea off really fast. Um, but yeah, digital digital sketching using Procreate um, is probably my favorite medium right now. But I kind of want to get to more traditional stuff too. That's why I got that gigantic canvas in the back. Um, so I want to get to painting and stuff too. Awesome. Other questions? Any other questions? Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice um, to meet you. When was the, the your first art piece or uh, your first time you ever successful? Yeah, I, I think that's an interesting question because my first piece of art that I've ever created was probably like maybe when I was four or five, um, <laughs> like in first or second grade. I was drawing then. I can remember. I can like specifically remember me drawing then. Um, but when I became quote unquote successful, I feel like there's a spectrum of success and creative people in general have to define what that success is. Um, but for me, I feel like I became successful back in 2019. That's when I started getting music, like ridiculously big projects, including the Universal Music Group project. Um, and every big project after that, I feel like that's when I became like well known. Um, and art circles and like commercial design circles and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's when, when it happened. But uh, as anybody could imagine, I, I kind of want to get bigger and stuff like that as far as platform, as far as like reach and stuff. Uh, you know, that, I think 2018, 2018, 2019 was the start of that.
Idubisi, thank you so much for taking the time during your day to come and talk to us. Um, I really, really appreciate it. And um, I'm going to thank you on behalf of our students here today that are participating in Visual Arts Day. So I'm going to let you let you get back to painting and doing yeah, some work today. All right. All right. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks again. All right, so. Hope that hearing all of this helped you and encouraged you in some way to do something dope today. Peace.